sure you guys, if you're interested in using CBD for joint pain, for back pain, for neck pain, for being able to just relax and sleep a little bit better, there are all kinds of different uses for it. And there are different treatments all available. Check it out. PureSpectrumCBD.com. Use the code MUP10 on the website to save some money off your order. Sneakers and Supreme this week. Uh, let's start with, let's start with, um, actually, let me start with this. I didn't even tell you about this. The Jordan threes on Saturday, Dallas. Yes. What in the hell happened there? How did the value go up? Yeah. What, what was, what was going on with that? This is why I told, I said three, three, four weeks ago, you got to go with yours right after the earth's dropped. Remember I said Get everything. from now on, I'm on the just incredible train. I don't give a shit if I got to return it. I'm going after all the releases because you never know. That's true. You just never know. And this is another example. A few weeks just after I said it, if you would have gone after this shoe, easy hundred, mm -hmm. easy hundred in resale value right now. I did go after it. Did you? Went after a nine for my brother. I missed out. He hit for himself though. So bang. Ah, good for him. Yeah. So he got his nine, but I missed out. I didn't. I was like, yeah, it should be. I told him to. He's like, yo, will you go for these for me? I was like, bro, it's going to be easy. I'm over at the car dealership. You saw my story on Saturday getting my uh, getting shit fixed over at the dealership. So I'm sitting there waiting around. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go for it. It's early ass, or ass early in the morning. Go for it. Take the L. He gets the pair. And then all of a sudden, I see resales through the roof. You didn't go. Did you go for him? I didn't. Didn't even go. Didn't even go. So you didn't take my I play, advice. I played the stringer card. You haven't been listening to the show. It's true. For some reason, I don't know why Dow hasn't been tuning yeah. into the show, <laughs> but he missed the advice. So it sounds like, and we're looking at values now, it looks like the big feet people um, are in the game. So anywhere from, I would say, size 12 and a half and up is kind of where the value is. 12 and a half, 297, 14 is 315, 15 is 325. What's just a regular 12? Uh, regular 12 is just under. It's uh, 285. 285, okay. Right now. So, so still some value there. So still value, obviously, after fees, though, and shit, because I think... If, it, you're still on stock, if you're selling on stock X. And the interesting thing about this shoe was right. it didn't retail at 200. We've seen a lot of $200 price points. It was at the 190. So there is a little bit of value as we look at this. So like you said, I think originally... You know, now that people are going to get their pairs probably today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, you'll see that drop a little bit. But man, if you had a pair and could find somebody to get rid of it on that Saturday or even yesterday, there's some value to be made some for money. sure. Yeah, especially if you could do it locally and not having to do fees. Dude, oh, yeah. I thought about you, Jalal. I was like, damn, a guy like Jalal who's kind of plugged in, he four or five sneaker stores, he can maybe just go pick up five pairs and then yeah, unload and them. I thought locally. I was just going to walk in. I thought I was going to walk in at like 3 p.m. on Saturday. And right. Pair. Who mm -hmm. didn't? Who yeah. didn't think that? And no shit. And then you didn't get them at all, did you? Not no, one pair? No. Damn. I, I passed on sneakers because I was like, yeah, I'll just go pick them up in the mall. Yeah. And yeah it was, I'll, get, I'll go pick up all the unclaimed pairs. I think what it was is there was a lot of, the map was full, but there just wasn't a lot of pairs in each store. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm hearing most gotcha. stores like, um, and again, this isn't like the top tier stores, but let's just go an average of stores. I think had like 15 to 20 pairs. It wasn't like 30, 40, 50 pairs. Mm -hmm. You know, so sound like most pairs had or most places had 15 to 20 and, pairs. And that first come first serve, I think, throws everybody off. <laughs> what do you mean? We always think when it's first come first serve, we always think it's just like, oh, there's no raffle. It's going to be Oh, easy, gotcha. You know? and, yeah. that's, that's what Taylor Toadvine just said in the comments. It. UNC threes were made to believe to be an easy cop. Yeah. <laughs> Shits were sold out before 10 a.m. at both of my Foot Locker and finish lines. Sneakers wouldn't add to cart either. Neither would East, uh, East Bay. Took the L on all levels. Jeez. And what's up with East Bay? They're like sponsoring a post about the UNC threes everywhere I look, Facebook, Instagram, and then you click on it, all the sizes are available, and then you try to add to cart and it's sold out. It's like, why are you guys at wasting advertising? Yeah, like, why are you promoting a post that's sold out the day of? Right. Wait, just waiting. Stupid. That's just like waiting. that's like Kith. When Kith does its regular drops, they've already dropped everything. Everybody's already copped, and then their Instagram <laughs> says, "Hey, just drop." Now available. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now go grab it now. That's hilarious. Good luck. Man, I was blown away with the UNC threes. Pulled a stringer and didn't even try. Oh, yep. Yeah. Same. I'm, I'm right there with you, Dirty. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, T-Mobile, listen to Brendan's podcast, The Fighter and the Kid. He's a huge sneakerhead and fashion guy also. Would be an incredible guest. I didn't know he's in the sneakers. We need to... Uh, he is, dude. He's yeah, one of those... get that connect going. So Chris Adelia, one of the biggest comedians out there. Chris uh, D'Elia. Chris D'Elia. Yes. Sorry. Damn yeah. it. Uh, what you. did I say? <laughs> Chris Adelia. Adelia. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Adelia. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> It sounds more Italian. I, I think it sounds better. I think you should take mine. But, but this guy, this this fool's dude, he is stomping in off-whites. He's stomping in dunks here recently. And some real nice dunks uh, during his uh, uh, comedy endeavors, which is pretty cool. 
Oh, Brendan Schaub is? Uh, yes. Chris Del- what, what is Chris? And Chris D'Elia, he does Off-White, too, as well. Oh. He does a lot of social media stuff and is always in some hype. You know, he did sneaker uh, shopping. Gotcha, because Schaub is starting to do stand-up comedy. You you're got saying. it. He's, he's influencing the rest of the other stand-up comedians, maybe. Who do you think is influencing? Him or who, who's in sneakers first? D'Elia or him? Uh, D'Elia was on sneaker shopping. I'm, I'm, I'm going right? to say D'Elia, yeah, but right. what do I know? What do I, we'll ask him when he comes on. All right, we'll sounds good. When he comes on. Uh, Mike Mizzo, I've been waiting for you guys to talk about cards during the episode. You guys finally did it. I'm pumped. Nice. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, bro. Um, let's do this. Let's move into uh, or let's um, move on here with sneakers and stuff. You wanted to look at. You told me the new uh, Nike Adapts are coming out. They I'm are. not pumped. I don't really care, but I haven't seen them. So let's show them to me. Maybe I'll change my mind. All right, Jalal. Let's go ahead and queue mm-hmm. up what they call what they're calling right now is uh, the Nike Adapt LE Zero One. So this is the latest iteration to, obviously, the Adapt series. We saw that they came out with, uh, obviously, the Hirachis, which we actually reviewed on our channel here. But this is yet another lifestyle shoe. And I thought, you know what? I might be interested in this. And then you see (laughs) that midsole is about the thickest midsole I've ever seen in a shoe. But what if that was just, what if that was more, uh, what if it was, like, on par or more comfortable than, than Boost Comfort or, like, Epic React? Like, what if it was more than that? Would you be in? Dude, that's giving you like a four inch boost. That's the yeah, only reason I that I would be in on that shoe is if you if it was just crazy comfort. comfortable. Yeah. Cause I'm 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 not against comfort, dog. Af- actually rolling around this weekend wearing wearing my Travis ones around walking to Denny's and doing mm-hmm. all kinds of bullshit. Feet were not feeling the greatest. You know, yeah, I was totally. wishing I would have had some boost on. Those right there, oh, the ugliest shits ever, but if they're crazy comfortable, you might be able to convince me. Which I don't think they are. They're going to be heavy. But what this really looks like with that thick midsole and then obviously the upper, dude, it really reminds me of the original mag. I'm just going to say that, you know what? It my, really does. The lacing right there reminds me of the original totally, mag. Totally. That's, that's the tongue system, lacing system there. What's mm-hmm. with this uh, plus minus on the sole? Is that's there, that's yeah, how you tighten it and loosen that, it. When you don't have the app, like if you're just trying to do it manually and you just hit that plus and minus, you can obviously change the tension with those, which is pretty cool. So pretty standard on all of these. My Hirachis had them. Um, I did return the Hirachis. That was just $350 retail, dude. I, you know, you, you got to absolutely love the shoe uh, to be all in like that. But for this one, first looks, you know, I, I mean, I love I love Air Maxes. Um, I don't really love what they're doing with the 270s, the 720s. Um, they just feel really weird. I, they're not very comfortable. Um, this certainly doesn't look that comfortable either. Encompassing an air bubble with still the auto lacing. I don't see any React, which is obviously Nike's in arguably the best comfort system they have, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but that being said, I, I think I'm out on these. There's just no way I can I can pay the money for these. Who could? And le- I mean, if you if you need them, if you need them to get a little boost, mm-hmm. maybe you're if you're a little uh, if you need a little height boost, maybe you cop those. <laughs> That's sure. the reason. Yeah, dude, for sure. Because how much you said you It's giving you. That's giving you a lift, yeah, it looks bro. Like, looks like three, four inches. Well, uh, three inches. That's giving some lift, guy. So yeah, that's a. Unless uh, it. Yeah. That's a your must. Foot's cop. sitting at the top of that. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at two fly Daniel I. Ouch. Need those to reach the height requirement at Disneyland for the rides. LOL. <laughs> there you go, two fly. There you go, bro. Get you a pair of those, my guy. John King, where are you at with that? Those are good, bro. Oh, but, John King says, Dow, you on drugs today, LOL. Yeah, why'd you ask him where he's at? Uh, with the, with this shoe, with the oh, whole Dis- if, Disney, if Disney Disneyland. Disney needs yeah. it, okay. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the new Disneyland shoe, then John King needs that. Sean? I wonder, I wonder if there's going to be any Disneyland closures. Oh, dude. Mm, theme park closures. There's guy, yeah. John King, we need you in here, man. We need, if, we need uh, you on the We ground. needed our Disneyland correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> we need boots on the ground. <laughs> we need a boots and boots on the ground Dude, out there. Those people, the correspondents out there risking their lives like CNN and they're just in the middle in Wu- in Wuhan. I'm like, that's crazy. Like I wouldn't even take that job. No shit. I How agree. How much with they got to pay you to do that? To go over there? I Not know. Dude. I know. Nuts. Uh, let's move into the Supreme leaks for this week. We don't have a ton of stuff, mm-hmm. but we did see that Supreme and North Face are doing some more items. Yeah, it back looks at like it, it again. Yeah, back at it with the fluorescent joints. Um, you know, these are these are obviously stuff that does have and has have re- resale in the past. But if we take a look at first of all, the mask. Oh yeah, little Corona. You know, I think you know we've talked about it. We're like, man, why don't they come up with something with Corona? I know these aren't certified, the N95, N99. So these are definitely something Jalal's not interested in. <laughs> 
but <laughs> not certified. These this would are, be fire though if it was. <laughs> these have got to save us a little bit, in. <laughs> dude. Because they, they got the holes in them. Yeah, it's for letting, sure. Letting the virus in. It's almost like that motocross kind of mask. I would rock uh, one of these skiing for oh, sure. Oh, for sure. Those are so ill. I think they'd be great for so that. So ill. Dude. Only downside is your helmet covers up covers up the Supreme on top. It would have been dope for them to do it like on the neck. Yeah. In my opinion. Like if you would have had that shit across the neck or something. Or you could have it on the top. Like everyone like a rocks bib. a helmet today. Like who's not rocking a helmet? I mean, yeah. if you're not. I don't know. Maybe your uncle's brave, not more brave than me. Yeah, he's. I guess he's not. Yeah, he's got his gaiters no on his Levi's, and that's it. <laughs> no motorcycle helmet. No skiing helmet. No. Uh, yeah, he's he's just skis in his Levi's. <laughs> Unbelievable. No helmet either. Weirdo. Roselli. Yeah. So this. I mean, obviously, this is going to be very, very expensive. Uh, I don't believe we have any retail costs quite yet. Um, but these leaked this morning. Well, you'll have everything else that probably is this week, either by the end of today, tomorrow. We always kind of run into this doing Monday's casts. But uh, the gloves, I, you know, I'm not super into the gloves. I'm not super into the backpacks. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not in love with They're this. They're flipping, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's, those stuff gloves, that stuff's going to be flipping, I think. Yeah. I mean, look at all the likes the on the Vortex, bottom. You're not, you're not feeling the gloves? I think those gloves are um, sick. No, not really. No, I, 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 no, I could do without them. I think they're basic. I think that's cool. But you know what? You know why I'm not feeling them? I'm into mittens. So I snowboard strictly with mittens. I'm on a mitten basis. And I, I love mittens. Why? I don't know. Huh. I, I feel like with the mittens, instead of having the individual pockets for each one of your fingers, the mittens seem to uh, to kind of control. I can control the heat a little bit more around, you know, where they're not isolated with their own finger holes. I feel like I can just generate more heat with a mitten. And um, I, I just, I just do like you, mittens uh, better. Do you do packs inside your gloves? Sometimes. Uh, on hand the, warmers? On the, real, on the real cold days, for sure, but no. I'm opposite. I, I love the fact that I have a blanket wrapped around every single one of my fingers and really? gloves. I love the fact that they're individually wrapped. No, like if this finger's cold, it's not colding up this finger. I don't know. I, I like the feeling of gloves. I can't imagine... Uh, Skiing and mittens. I feel like I, I don't know. When they fit, when they fit perfectly, they're great. Gloves, yeah. yeah. And I have they're a great, loose. I have a see, I have a great pair of Columbia dry fit gloves. So they're not, they're like a really uh, nice dry fit material. They're real thin, but they're warm as super, That's super it. warm. Crazy technology on the insides, very warm, but they're not like puffy like that. That's the thing I wouldn't. I think the gloves are dope, mm -hmm. but I still like my Columbia gloves better because they're, um, they're very uh, easy to flex in. They're not, gotcha. You know, it's just like you're not wearing enough, anything. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of out on those. But the jackets, like I said, the jackets are cool, man. But, you know, um, North Face, the technology that North Face uses in their jackets are, bar none, some of the best out there. But for me, man, I just uh, I just don't really get into North Face gear. And then having the Supreme on there, I guess, is cool. But for me, I'm just not a big... Do they have a back of those jackets, Jalal? Can I see the back? Uh, These ones? Yeah, the backside. Or no? I mean, this is the backside. Oh, okay, right that's here, the backside. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so no, there's the the supreme branding and shit. And no, even there's not really. They a, almost look like they got a backpack built yeah, into it. Looks it. like there's something on there. Does oh, it look like that? Oh yeah, look at the front. It's a vest, bro. Ah yeah. yes. RTD jacket, RTG jacket plus vest. I wonder. It, can I just it rock looks the detachable? Can it I rock the vest without the jacket on something? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah just looks shirtless like with the back. With detachable. The vest. I'll get I'll get married in that vest. <laughs> Stop. No, I mean Dal out there thinking he's Sean White. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I can ask ask your boy franchise. I can shred up the mountain pretty well. No, no Sean White. Just incredible Mortal Kombat masks. That's a good one. Oh, that is a good. Those one. did look like Mortal Kombat. A little masks. scorpion action. Yeah, get, get over, over here. here, Jinx. See, Failbees made it in. Shout out, Failbees. Finally, what's up, fellas? Just woke he, up. He said he's gonna be happy with the if we end up doing the time change. Oh yeah. Oh, no I know. Oh yeah. So Thursday, let me hit that really quick. Thursday on the show, it will be. Uh, we're going to officially start doing the show at night. I start training for my teaching job tomorrow. And training is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I will not be able to do the show during the days anymore. And we're going to be, we're planning on moving it tonight anyway. And now that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So officially, what, it will be 530 Mountain Time, 430 East Coast. I wonder, Coast. should we get some feedback I mean, from West people? Coast? What about the East Coasters? Because if we start at like 6 here... That's 8 p.m. 8, 8 PM, uh, right. Eastern, and then, you know, two hours, two and a half hours sometimes, ending at like 1030. So I wonder what people are, are thinking on the East Coast or the West Coast. You know, yeah. six here is going to be five on the West. Right. And so. I could uh, potentially, I mean, if everyone just hates the evening, I don't know. I mean, my Mondays are open, but Thursdays is the real issue. 
mm-hmm. but I just I just wanted to keep it consistent for everyone, yeah, you know. Yeah. Evenings I think or nights whatever, in so. general is is going to be better, but yeah, we just don't want to make it too late for people. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. That's going to start on this Thursday, and then if everything goes according to planned, the following Monday we'll have a show. I'll train uh, Tuesday at the school, and then we'll be leaving to Vegas Wednesday. Yeah, and we're gonna miss one show. Shit, we're gonna miss two shows. We're gonna miss that Monday coming back. Hmm. Because we'll be driving twelve hours, right? So then the following week we'd have to. Oh, bro. Yeah, nights would work good because the following week I would be we'd have to bump the show to Tuesday, and I'd have to I'd have to train, so I'd have to do a night anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, so that's gonna work out. Some, so let's talk about this Thursday scheduling. So on. right now, five thirty, five thirty our time, Mountain Time. Yeah. So five thirty this uh, this Thursday, it Mountain be 7:30 Time. Seven thirty East, four thirty West. Got it. So that's what it would be for everyone. It um, says seven p.m. is the golden time on the East Coast. I wonder if you're talking about seven p.m. Eastern time, right? So that would be five o'clock our time. Five o'clock yeah. our time. Yeah. I think that's pretty good because five o'clock is. Uh, you know, people getting off work in L.A. on the East Coast, mountain time, they can catch us in the drive time. 7 o'clock, you got people people uh, yeah. settled in. Wrap up by like 9. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think it's pretty good. Good with that. I think that'll work well. Um, yeah, you guys will have to go live from the from the car. That, oh, a little car cast? Oh, yeah. You can go on your laptop. Well, dude, we did just switch to Verizon. So hopefully, we'll see how the service is. Uh, you know what? Travel Verizon sucked my butthole in uh, Boulder. Oh, really? Dude. Bad? It was the worst. Wow. And, and, t- and T-Mobile was doing like quadruple the data that I was oh, doing. Oh, no. Oh, dude. So <laughs> Boulder, not so good. Whoa. So I, w- I want to be clear on that, Misha. Those fools are all touting their network all crazy. Huh? Yeah, no doubt. Your first time you leave you leave your area, you can't <laughs> even you get no service I'm over there. I'm in Boulder, and uh, I, I even switched it from like I took the LTE off and just rocked 3G in hopes that like a text messages and stuff like that wouldn't be interfered with. So, you know, is what it is. 5 p.m. is perfect. Keep killing the game. Choner blasting some local radio hosts in the chat. <laughs> uh, dude, um, go or we just got a uh, donation from Danny B. Not just, but I just saw it on my phone. Gotcha. Danny B. Let me give you a couple shots, bro. He just sent $15 over nice. to my Venmo and said, the pack of cards has been purchased for the next cast. He wants us to do the cards I think again. Neighborhood did as well. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I'm so sorry. It was Neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, it was Neighborhood okay. that sent it to me, not Danny B. It was sorry. Neighborhood. I'm so sorry. That's my fault. I'm Dow. You're giving me that. You're giving me that stutter juice right now. You don't want that stutter the juice. Stutter juice is wearing off on me, bro. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. I didn't eat breakfast. Yeah, man. It was. Uh, it was. It was Neighborhood. It was Neighborhood. I sent thank you, Neighborhood. So the pack of cards has been purchased. Neighborhood. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Neighborhood. What would you like? Would His you like- name is Danny. So Neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, it all. I, I got it all. You were still right, but you were wrong. That's cool. I, I like it. it. I got it twisted. Felby's comment is killing me. I don't even know what he said, but I get the idea of it. He says, it's hard waking up with a half mongrel, and I start listening to you guys. Below, not good. Hashtag oh. no homo. <laughs> Below, not good. What is half mongrel? Is that? I have, we, I that must be an Australian term. <laughs> right. I think I know what he's but referring what he's to, saying. but I'm not. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not. I've never. Yeah. You wouldn't catch me ever being like, hey, half mongrel. <laughs> hey, hey, Felby's, why don't you just slam it in the door and, and move on? <laughs> I might have been like, yeah, I meant half staff. Yeah. But half mongrel. Half staff. Wow. Yeah. Maybe, you know, you know, but yeah. not mo- <laughs> Well, the, the question is, what uh, what, what kind of uh, pack of cards does Neighborhood want us to get? NBA? NFL? I don't want to really do oh, baseball. You're so going to have to thing. do some research Dude, ahead of time if, just in case everything's sold yeah, out. To get some NBA is going to be tough. I'm going to have to, like, find a card shop. I bet I can just go get a couple packs at a card a shop. It's called uh, Bill Sports Collectibles on, on Broadway. All right. You can go get That'll be my last resort. Yeah. No Papa Roach. Let's go get some content over there. Let's do, uh, yeah, I like it. Um, let's finish up here. Supreme in studio this week. What did yeah. you cop from the week zero? I copped the Zippo for Ochi, which I gave to him the other day. So uh, shout out to the homie Ochi. And we also, or the, uh, he let me keep the ballpark gift because he copped a bunch of shit. Oh, you got it with you? Dope. This was probably... I don't know. I thought it was the best free gift ever when I first got it. Then I opened it up and I was like, ah, it's basically a trash bag with the Supreme Box logo printed on it. But it still is in like the packaging is pretty dope. Oh, you have one open. There's one open. So this is the free gift. It's just a Supreme Glad bag. Supreme Glad. Mm -hmm. And hefty, hefty six sack. Remember that? Exactly. Yes. 
Yes. Look Remember at that commercial? Oh, yeah, dude. It's even lined it's like lined it. It's lined around the hood. It's got like trash bag type of uh, handles. Drawstrings. Drawstrings. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Not so, good. I still think this is pretty good. Yeah. I think if you use the shower cap, though, the shower cap might be one of the greatest. Shower cap. Because is sick. it was good quality. It wasn't like, this is a great idea. The execution just isn't great. Does that make sense? If they would have executed better on the poncho. I yeah. would have, uh, I'd be more pumped about it. I like the packaging. I like everything else, but the execution was poor. All right. So I think you've already, I've already shown you this, uh, but this is the Supreme Now Gene, which I think is actually really cool. It's got uh, its own little Jimmy hat to keep things cool, to keep things hot. I love it. Got to have a Supreme Now Gene Jimmy hat. Nice. Super sick. But the Nalgene itself, I don't know if you guys watched uh, any Eric Whiteback's videos. Uh, he was dropping these from s different heights, and that was pretty interesting. So Nalgene, we know to be super tough. We know to also be BPA-free. Yeah, yeah. So uh, chemicals uh, aside, let's get more natural here. So this is pretty cool, man. Love to have that. Hopefully I can get some water intake and level up on that, but uh, probably not. I'm going to need one of these, bro. Somebody's got one of these at retail. Let me get the oop. I'm gonna need one of these for my teaching, bro. I need to carry the. I need to. Oh, I sick. need a water bottle. To take in when I'm teaching, bro. Damn, somebody's with your got, supremely underrated shirt on as well. Yeah, if somebody's got one of these at retail. Look at fire. Holler at your boy. I don't even care if it's the black joint. I ain't picky. I just think uh, that's dope. I slept. I should have copped one of those. Those are dope. What else? All right, what else you got? You ready to see my favorite thing? Yeah. The oh, dude, the, I want to see this. Thing, the thing bro. that's still available right now yeah. on Supreme's website, the Supreme Leatherman, dude. Do you Check have your your uh, other Leatherman with you? Uh, yes, I think I do. I have the Gerber, the so the uh, the opposition to Leatherman. Oh, it's not Leatherman. It's not Leatherman. I was gonna try to do a comparison. No. Okay, so it's not even Leatherman anyway. Correct. But how much is the Gerber? Uh, the Gerber that I have because it's actually spring loaded, so oh, it's, it's even more, more advanced. Okay. Uh, I okay. think it's about one sixty. See, and that's what I was thinking. I was gonna get with this. Now I'm really skeptical. This is one hundred eighteen dollars. Uh, yes, retail. 118. No wonder it's still sitting. It might be a little much. If it's not as good as what you have, because yeah. what you have is pretty sick. Sick. But still, that would open that, that baby up. See what you think on that, man. Feels pretty thick. Feels pretty sturdy, right? Yeah, it does feel nice. It feels nice. It's not spring loaded Correct. like yours, mm -hmm. which would have been great, but it feels sturdy. It feels like I could hammer in a finishing nail with it. Like I do I with my <laughs> like I do with my Gerber. Right? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. It feels pretty good, man. Um, you got a couple blades inside here. Bam. Bam. Oh. The beer opener. The beer opener. Jeez, you got like a couple the, different. You got a saw in there? Hacksaw, yeah. Look at that. No Jim Duggan in this Jim bitch. Jim Duggan. Oh, tough guy. Look at that. That's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Actually, this is Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Nice. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> looking. <laughs> I even know that. Yep. <laughs> With the tongue sticking out, looking like a five-year-old. There you go. That's, That's pretty sick, sick, dude. The Leatherman, I couldn't pay 118 though, but I don't have the uses for it. There's also mm -hmm. a screwdriver. Oh, a yeah. screwdriver in there. And then the other out. side, you've got nail file, you've got uh, more screwdrivers, more blades, bigger blade. $118. It's very well built. Yeah, it is. I mean, and that thing would probably file your nails for a lifetime. You wouldn't have to oh, worry yeah. about the nail file wearing down. Not a, it? It's not even a nail file. It's just a file. But Think about the pouch. It comes in a nice... Oh, the pouch is sick, dude. Is it? Look at this, Jalal. The gold box logo. With the gold box logo on the... Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, there you go. That angle's on good. On the bottom side. Really nice. I was trying to get the camera to... Yeah, you had it for a second. It's just that reflection like right there. Yeah. There you go. There's this gold Supreme logo. And then obviously you can take your belt loop through it. Belt loop on the belt. Oh, dude, this is mm -hmm. this is actually pretty sick. Yeah. The only thing is, if I started carrying a thing like this on me all the time, I'd get used to it, and then I'd roll into a concert and try to get in, and they'd not let me get in, and I'd be so pissed off. I'd oh, they'd let you get in. The, they would take that. Yeah, I'd throw <laughs> it away. Yeah. Throw it away at the, at the gate. I'd be pissed or off. Or you go to fly somewhere. Drive back or walk all the way back. Can you imagine, can you imagine being on that long-ass shitty line at Fiddler's Green or Red Rocks about to go into the show? And you got to go all the way back to your car, put this bitch back in your car in order to be able to go in? Oh, that's not good. Would you throw away $118 nope. or would you just go back to the car and wait in line again? I'd say fuck your concert. You wouldn't even go to the show. You'd burn <laughs> those tickets? You'd burn that money? No, I'd, I'd walk back to the car. You would. But yeah. you wouldn't make that mistake because you're pretty prepared. I'm always prepared. I'm not prepared. Always prepared. I fly by the seat of my pants, mm -hmm. which causes me some frustration sometimes. I'm going to help you out in Vegas. 
That's why we have to go. Oh, plus it's Ochi's 21st birthday. I know, dude. Ochi turns 21 this weekend. This weekend. Mm -hmm. That's going to be... That's going to be fun. His 21st birthday. We got to do it big out there. What do you think of the Leatherman, Jalal? You like it? Pretty sick. Would, but you, like, would you pay one It's good quality, but yes, yeah, that's it's a, a lot. It's a lot, right? How much did you pay for yours, though? Like uh, your, the Gerber one? The Gerber? Uh, actually, that one was gifted from uh, my uh, good boy, Muzz. Oh, uh, so nice. He, uh, he upgraded one from work or something like that. I don't know how that all cross-pollinated, but uh, long story short, I got a $160 Gerber for free. So, stay. Bouncy ball was my favorite on the free gift. Dirty DJ. That's a great gift. That I love one. that. That was a good one. Uh, Zippo lighter. I, dude, I haven't even opened this yet. Well, I saw Ochi's, so I saw what it looks like. Should I open it for the cast? Yeah, you can, yeah. Cast. you can open it for them. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to sell it. I don't really sell much. I had the Zippo lighter from uh, two drops ago. It was like the metal uh, diamond plated joint. That's the one I had. So I didn't go. I went after this one for Ochi. I didn't feel like I needed another one. Also on that diamond plated Zippo, by the way. Do you guys have trouble with your Z Supreme Zippos holding fluid? Mine really doesn't hold fluid. It seems like very well. Yeah. Let me know in the chat. Look at the Supreme on or the Super on one side, and then yeah, the other piece of the R and E on the back. All glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Super sick. There you go. Now here's what I would say about this. I think the Let's Supreme. Doesn't go. He doesn't fluid. No fluid. Oh. So the so they what they did well with this lighter is the supreme. It's almost like engraved. Yeah, almost engraved inside of that. The cover, however, the glow in the dark option just seems not as good quality. But I mean, you know, in comparison to the lighters that we've had in the past, right? Yeah. The one that you were just talking about. Um, it you know it feels a little cheaper. It feels a little bit more basic. But I think you're buying this for the cool supreme branding and obviously the glow in the dark here. But uh, it's it's not one of the better ones they've done in my opinion. So, but I like it. I'm glad to have it. You know, as a collector, it's fun. Um, I told you, I don't know if I told the cast, but I collect lighters. No mm. surprise, right? Yeah. My dad, he's, uh, he's been a smoker for years, still smokes, had his lower uh, lobe of his lung removed, still smoking. Wow. You know what I mean? What are you going to do? He's just... Is he really? It's, it's such Guy, a... What are you Dude, it's such a bad addiction. That's just what it is, man. Like, I can't tell my dad what to do. I can only assist him and try to help him and try to get him on programs, that kind of stuff. We've done that multiple times throughout the year. He's just going to be him. You know, it is what it is. I love him. He's just going to be him. And you got to let the guy live. So uh, that being said, he got me into kind of all these lighters, and he handed down a lot of lighters um, through times that he quit smoking and just as collector's pieces. So um, I've got some original RCA lighters that nobody's oh, yeah, really seen. I've got a a lot of cool lighters so for me even if it's basic even whatever um it's still a, it's still a cool piece because it's a lighter it's made by zippo all my lighters that i collect are all zippo and then they have miscellaneous branding so goes right in the collection i love it perfect dude. happy to have it you have the one i have too the diamond plate joint right i love that diamond plate yeah. it's heavy duty it's nice. sturdy yeah. uh it's Doesn't a great hold fluid that good when was that was that 18 or 19 it was two season. seasons ago i think it was 19 but i think it was the spring of 19 so i think it was it was two drops ago yeah at, uh yeah gotcha now, I don't want to open this one, but I brought it to the cast anyways because I still might sell this. This might be a piece that you hold on to. Um, I'm not super pumped on this piece because it's a hologram. If we're looking at what Kith did with uh, their drop with Biggie, I think they did such a great job. And the meaning behind it is so cool. Supreme literally could have done anything with Tupac, and they threw the Tupac hologram on a shirt. So I'm not really pumped on the logo. I'm not pumped on how they did it. And as a matter of fact, with the hologram, Tupac definitely wasn't wearing Supreme boxers or briefs. He is in here. So, you know, I think it's very egotistical of Supreme, mm. in my opinion. And, uh, you know, from the collector value and what they could have done and maybe even misrepresentation in a way. I know that's looking a little too far. Like, it's just a shirt now. Relax. <laughs> um, I just don't think they did Tupac justice. That's what I want to say. Hey, and they could have done better. It, man. And that's what it is. But uh, I, I did. Yeah, I've got the blue uh, T-shirt. So shout outs to Just Incredible for looking out hey. for me uh, on not only the Tupac shirt, but also the Leatherman. Even though the Leatherman's still available, the homie just said, hey, I know you need it, man. I got you a couple. I got a couple extra ones. You know, it's yours. So uh, just incredible. Always looking out for us, man. I thank you, bro. Um, this is awesome. But, you know, he and I were kind of talking about it. Um, he ooped me this uh, for retail as well, even though he could have made some money off of me. Um, this is one of those shirts that, you know, seasons down the road could obviously gain some value when people start fucking theirs up. Uh, you know, Tupac comes back in the news for whatever reason. 
Um, I, I do see this getting value or better value than what it is now. The black one, the black on black, has about the most value going for about 90, 95 bucks, depending on the size. That's it. That is it. Wow. Um, I remember everyone was saying hundred dollars over nah. each, you know, when they first dropped. Like everyone was like, Oh, it's gonna be an easy hundred bucks over. Wow, they've really dropped. Maybe more people are starting to feel like you do. It's not an authentic picture of Tupac. Right. It's not a real picture of Tupac. It's a hologram picture that Supreme has doctored. Or it's a picture of the hologram and, and Supreme doctored it. Maybe that's how people are feeling, Dow. Yeah. Uh, not not in uh, not in on that shit. Fail right. Beast. Sneaker Pass is live for the LDV waffles for select cities. Denver is one of the cities. <laughs> never. Yeah, right. <laughs> he says never. <laughs> never. Misha, Misha said you got me excited, Fail Beast. What were you going to say? Uh What's the... Yeah, so that's uh, really all I have for StockX. Um, I did want to... I brought one other treasure that we might even say Let into the see. cast. And again, shout out to my boy, Justin Credible. Um, <laughs> you'll see where we found this in a second. But he sends me a text. He's like, hey, do you need this? I said, absolutely, we need this. Let me show you. Okay. I'm excited for this one. Ah! Uh, let's see. Dog. Oh, wow. Do you see what that <laughs> says up there? I don't really either, but do you I know that can hoodie. you identify with that hoodie? Let me see the back. This is what you'll identify with. There it is. Is this called the Mecha God? The Mecha God, I, I think, think, is maybe what he calls dude, this. I think you nailed that. I think, I think this is. is the Mecha God hoodie from your boy. Oh, it's Teddy, <laughs> aka he thrifted Boost that? God. He thrifted. He that. did. And if you don't believe me, go That's ahead. Go ahead and look at that tag inside there for me, real quick. What does that say? Ark. Five ninety nine extra large, <laughs> sick. Is that the blue tag special? Sick. This is, dude. You don't need. Look at you. This is how you get. This is how you get to be a part of the Teddy friends and family, dog. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Who else got a five ninety nine Mecca God? Friends and family. Who else got a Mecca God five ninety nine? Did you try it on yet? Yeah, let me try it on. <laughs> that is so good. That is good. Ted's merch is getting thrifted. That's hilarious. You think, I hope someone thrifts you think, our shit. You think maybe somebody uh, just like accidentally shrunk it and says, "Oh, dude, I can't, I can't wear this." What do you? Think I wonder happened? what the story is. I really wish I could see who that hoodie was shipped to, what part of the country, if it was here in Denver, and how it got here, if it got thrifted here. Dude, it was it was a mom. A mom Come bought on, it. Your mom, your mom was like, "Hey, you don't wear none of your stuff." Oh, she took it. Yeah, I took it all to the ark. My mom, oh, no, did, my mom dude. did that with a pair of Tims. She this is grown man sizes. I mean, look at this an XL. A uh, little bit baggy on Dow. Little, yeah, it's a little bit of a Jalal fit on the shoulders. <laughs> it's got that Jalal, the Jalal uh, fit. that Jalal bigness to it on you. But there you go. Look at it's you. Fire. We in there. Dow Palantonio, the Mecca God. Mecca God coming in at five ninety nine. You can't beat it, man. Should I pay more at Taco Bell? That's hilarious, bro. I cannot <laughs> believe he found that at the Ark. Was it uh, down south or was it down downtown or what? Uh, yeah, down in the springs. Uh, way, so, way the hell down there? In the springs. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's sick. Ted, Ted's got his friends and family in the springs representing for sure That's at funny. the ARC. That's funny, dude. So, I mean, yeah, I don't man. know. I mean, I don't know that it trumps the Wu-Tang jacket you just took off. That's pretty. That's true. I just want to give Ted some shine. Yeah, well, you got some offers in the chat. Dirty DJ. He says, is it an XL? It, it is. is. It's, an it's, it's an XL. He says, I'll swap you for some stuff. Oh, okay. Well, shit, I better take it off then. Stas G looks like skinny urn. <laughs> skinny urn. <laughs> you do. You look like a dirty urn, skinny urn. Yeah. A dirty, skinny urn. Uh, or a skinny, dirty urn. <laughs> a dirty, skinny urn. <laughs>